What's up everybody, this is Preston here, and today I am going to be reviewing the Buffalo Bills game that just happened this morning against the Jacksonville Jaguars over in London, and yeah, it was, it was something else, and unfortunately we lost for the second time this season uh, by only by five points, so yeah, so um, let's go ahead and get started with the review, guys. Um, so I'm on the Buffalo Bills app. So, yeah, here's the total number of, number of yards, total yards. Buffalo has 388, but Jacksonville, they, this wasn't a fluke win for Jacksonville. I mean, they impressed me. They, they, they impressed me. I had confidence in us, but Jacksonville has a lot of momentum from that Atlanta win. And, and Trevor Lawrence, he impressed me today. And... Yeah, I just want to say congratulations to Jacksonville. You guys clearly were better. And, yeah, let's see how week six goes for us against the Giants next week. So, yeah. Whoa. I'm using a screen recorder this time for this. So, yeah, we, we had two passing touchdowns, though, for Buffalo, for us. Which is one, which is both of them coming in the... Um, one coming in the second quarter, one coming in the very last the final minutes of the quarter of the game. So... First, I know there was a Josh Allen touchdown to Stephon Diggs, and then in the second quarter, and then, and then one of our last touchdowns in this game <clears throat> was him passing to Gabe Davis. But Josh Allen, man, it only took forty-five seconds to get into the end zone. So, but yeah, guys. But here's the thing for us: we had so many penalties today. I mean, we had a bunch, and plus all, and plus. A few of our defensive players got injured. Uh, Matt Milano was one of them. So, yeah. It sucks. But here's the um, rule recap right here. Um, yeah, so like I said, Gabe Davis made that touch, made, um, got a 19-yard pass from Josh Allen. That's the, that's the drive where he made like 45 seconds just to make it from one end zone to the other. So, hey, we were coming back, but it was just... Too late, and then at the very end, Jacksonville um, was able to get the football back, and yeah, and then Josh Allen that made a three-yard run into the end zone. So yeah, and then of course, on that first, on that first uh, touchdown with from Trevor Lawrence's pass, we act they actually made a two-yard, a two x two, two-point attempt, and they were able to get eight, and then, and then we have a field goal for them. And yeah, I think I think one of the reasons why we lost this game was because of the penalties we've had. So yeah, I think like we just had way too many penalties for us. So yeah, but you could see right here the interceptions. We had two turnovers, both from us and from Jacksonville. So yeah, now let's take a look at the stats from each player. So as you guys can see, Josh Allen completed 27 of his 40 throws, 30 passes. 359 yards, though. He had two touchdowns and one interception. Um, there was another turnover, but that was from a fumble because once um, that, that was from a fumble in, like, the final 20 seconds. So, yeah. We have Josh Allen, Damian Harris, Damian Harris, L. Murray, and then James Cook. James Cook really wasn't really that much. Didn't do good. Really didn't do that much in the... um yards category because just Jacksonville just knew what we were doing but yeah as you guys can see Stephon Diggs eight receptions 121 yards then we have Gabe Davis and then James Cook Al Murray defense Kira Eliam there Ed Oliver there I mean he was there's the but there's Milano there he was the one that got injured um yeah, so, so Espana, man, he, the 57, so, so I'm going to move this, AJ Espana, he impressed me in this game, like, he had did two sacks, and he was, he was on a roll today, he was on a roll today, so, yeah, now let's do Jacksonville, Trevor Lawrence, just hit over 315 yards from his, from his throws, 37, he completed 25 out of his 37, Josh Allen did more, and um, yeah, as you guys can see, so. 
here's the how the um, results are from the stats from each player in this game. So um, yeah, guys, nothing really much happened in the first half for us because we were we were off because we were off sleep. We were just we started off slow, but then once the second half happened, we came back to life. But it was just too late for us. So. Yeah, next week we play against the New York Giants. I have high confidence because it's going to be back at home. And that's going to be a... I feel like we're going to we're definitely going to win that one, in my opinion. So, yeah, I have confidence for that game next week. And, yeah, like I said, congratulations to the, to the Jaguars. Clearly deserved. And, yeah, good game. Just a good game. And, yeah, currently undefeated in London. So, really good momentum on the side for Jacksonville, guys. So, yeah, good game. Sucks we lost, but it is where it is. So, yeah, guys. What do you guys think about this game? Let me know if you watched it or not. Let me know in the comments. But the final quarter, entertaining and fun to watch. So, yeah. But anyways, this is Preston signing off. Peace out.